I want this book to be a valuable resource for pilots and the aviation industry. Introduction Stepping into the World of Aeronautical Psychology In the vast and fascinating field of aviation, every moment spent in an aircraft represents more than just a physical journey. It is a journey of the mind and soul, a courageous exploration into a space where the sky becomes the playground and the clouds become invisible allies. But this aerial adventure is supported by much more than just technical knowledge and physical skills. This book aims to introduce you to the complex and essential world of aeronautical psychology, where emotions, thoughts, and reactions engage in a subtle dance with the flight controls and cockpit instruments. We witness a constant transformation, where student pilots metamorphose into captains of the skies, and each step of this evolution comes with unique challenges for the mind and spirit. In the following pages, we will explore the depths of aeronautical psychology. We will analyze how emotional factors can influence decisions in the cockpit, how stress can become both an enemy and a friend in flight, and how developing emotional resilience can play a crucial role in shaping an exceptional pilot. We will travel through time to examine the journey of student pilots from their earliest dreams of flying to the moment when, with pride and dedication, they say, this is how we talk on the ground for the last time. We will also explore practical methods through which we can help future pilots build self-confidence, manage emotions in critical situations, and remain mentally and emotionally stable throughout their aviation careers. This book is a tribute to those who choose to step into the skies and face the challenges of the air. It is an open window into the inner world of the pilot, a world where courage, patience, and self-awareness are as important as the hand that controls the throttle. Let us step together into this fascinating universe of aeronautical psychology, explore its challenges, and discover ways in which we can support and guide trainee pilots toward a fulfilling and emotionally balanced aviation career. Chapter 1 Introduction to Aeronautical Psychology Basic Concepts and Its Importance in Pilot Training Today, aviation represents one of the most complex and sophisticated fields of human activity. From the first moments of the Wright brothers' flight in 1903, aviation has developed into a vast domain with multiple branches and specializations, from intercontinental commercial flights to fighter jets reaching the limits of airspace. The world of aviation is continuously expanding and evolving. While aeronautical technology has advanced remarkably, an essential aspect of this field has often been underestimated or even neglected, aeronautical psychology. Aeronautical psychology is the discipline that focuses on studying how psychological and emotional factors influence the performance and safety of pilots, crew members, and other professionals in the aviation industry. This first chapter of our book aims to introduce readers to the complex universe of aeronautical psychology, revealing the basic concepts underlying this discipline and highlighting its importance in pilot training. From managing stress during flights to understanding human factors in aviation accidents, aeronautical psychology plays a vital role in ensuring safety and efficiency in aviation. This chapter will explore 1.1 Defining Aeronautical Psychology Stress and Pressure Aviation is a field where stress factors can arise due to complex tasks, responsibilities, and unforeseen situations. A pilot's ability to handle stress and make real-time decisions can be essential for safety. Managing stress and pressure in an aeronautical context is crucial for maintaining pilot safety and performance. Here are some strategies and techniques that can be applied to manage stress and pressure during flight. Breathing techniques. Deep controlled breathing can help reduce stress and anxiety. In tense moments, focus on your breathing, slow down your pace, and feel how you calm down. Relaxation techniques. Exercises such as progressive muscle relaxation can help release tension from the body and mind. Learn to identify and gradually release tension from different parts of the body. Positive visualization. Visualize yourself successfully managing stressful situations during flight. This can boost your confidence in your abilities and reduce anxiety. Planning and preparation. Proper preparation and planning before the flight can reduce uncertainty and stress. Knowing the procedures and possible scenarios can help you feel more confident in difficult situations. Time management. 
good time management can reduce the pressure of making quick decisions and multitasking in the cockpit. Plan your time well to avoid the added stress of delays or task overload. Open communication. Talk with crew members about your feelings and stress levels. Open communication can help diffuse tensions and find solutions together. Exercise and nutrition. A healthy lifestyle can contribute to psychological resilience. Regular exercise and a balanced diet can reduce stress levels and enhance well-being. Meditation and mindfulness. Practices such as meditation and mindfulness can help reduce anxiety and stress by focusing attention on the present moment and body sensations. Continuous training. Ongoing education and training can increase confidence and preparedness. The better prepared you feel, the better you will handle stress and pressure. Seeking professional help. If stress and anxiety are difficult to manage, consult a mental health professional or counselor for personalized stress management techniques. It is important to understand that stress and pressure are part of piloting, but there are effective ways to manage them. Find the strategies that work best for you and incorporate them into your flight preparation and routine to maintain calm and optimal performance. Communication and collaboration. In the cockpit, the crew must communicate and collaborate effectively to ensure a safe flight. Understanding communication dynamics and developing teamwork skills are critical aspects of aeronautical psychology. Effective communication and collaboration within the crew and with air traffic control are crucial for flight safety and success. Here are some tips to improve communication and collaboration in a pleasant and efficient manner. Open and respectful communication. An atmosphere of open and respectful communication facilitates the exchange of information. Every crew member should feel comfortable expressing their thoughts, questions, and concerns. Clarity and conciseness. Communication must be clear, concise, and to the point. Use standard terms and avoid excessive jargon. Ensure messages are transmitted without ambiguity. Active listening. Listen carefully when other crew members or air traffic controllers communicate. Ask questions to clarify information and ensure you understood correctly. Constructive feedback. Share feedback in a constructive way, focusing on improving processes and communication. Avoid negative or personal criticism. Using names, during radio communication or in the cockpit, use colleagues' names to address them and be more specific in transmitting information. Clarifying information. If you haven't fully understood an instruction or information, ask for clarification. It's better to obtain all the necessary details than to assume and act incorrectly. Advanced planning. Before the flight, discuss communication strategies and collaboration methods. Establish clear procedures for routine and emergency situations. Anticipation and coordination. Anticipate the needs and actions of other crew members. Good coordination can minimize confusion and delays. Staying calm. In stressful situations, maintain a calm and professional tone. This can positively influence communication and the reactions of others. Continuous learning. Participate in training and simulation sessions to develop communication and collaboration skills. Analyze communication from previous flights to identify areas for improvement. Sharing critical information. In risk situations, share critical information in a timely manner. Don't hesitate to report any problems or seek help when necessary. Developing a safety culture. Promote a safety culture within the crew, where every member is encouraged to bring attention to any problems or mistakes without fear of repercussions. Effective communication and collaboration can lead to safer and smoother aircraft operation. Invest time in developing these skills and encourage the crew to work together to create a more pleasant and efficient flight experience for everyone. Decision making. Pilots must make quick and well-founded decisions in various situations. Aeronautical psychology studies how psychological factors can influence the decision-making process and how pilots' decision-making skills can be improved. Making decisions in special aviation cases requires careful and structured approaches, as quick and correct decisions can significantly impact flight safety. Here are some principles and strategies to make the best and most effective decisions in special situations. Knowing the procedures. 
make sure you are familiar with the standard procedures and protocols for the situation at hand. Solid training and deep-rooted knowledge can help make faster and safer decisions. Assessing the situation. Carefully analyze the situation and identify critical factors. Clearly understand what is happening and what threats or options are available. Prioritizing. Set priorities based on the severity of the situation. Decisions should focus on minimizing risk and protecting the safety of the crew and passengers. Effective communication. Share relevant information with other crew members. Clear and open communication is essential to make informed and coordinated decisions. Available options. Evaluate all possible options, even unconventional ones. Depending on the circumstances, you may need to consider alternative solutions to resolve the problem. Risk analysis. Evaluate the risks associated with each option and consider potential consequences. In certain situations, the risks may require a more conservative approach or a different decision. Consulting resources. If possible, consult manuals, experts, or air traffic controllers for advice and additional information. Consistent decisions. Ensure that decisions made are consistent with standard procedures, past experience, and best safety practices. Mental simulations. Visualize different scenarios and solutions in your mind. This can help you anticipate possible outcomes and feel more prepared. Emotional control. Stay calm and rational, even in stressful situations. Strong emotions can negatively affect decision-making. Decision to wait. If time allows, consider delaying the decision until you have all the necessary information. Feedback and learning. After managing the situation, review the decision made and learn from the experience to improve your decision-making skills for future situations. In special cases, such as emergencies or unexpected events, the ability to make quick and effective decisions is crucial. Through constant practice, continuous training, and analysis of previous experiences, you can develop the skills needed to handle any unexpected situation with confidence during flight. Human Factors in Aviation Accidents Studies in Aeronautical Psychology have analyzed many aviation accidents to understand how human factors, such as decision-making or communication errors, can contribute to unwanted events. Human factors are one of the main contributors to aviation accidents, and it is essential to take measures to prevent human errors and quickly correct these errors when they occur. Here are some strategies and practices for managing human factors in aviation. Preventing human errors. Solid training. Ensure that the crew is well-trained and has the knowledge and skills necessary to handle complex situations. Standard procedures. Develop and implement standardized procedures for various scenarios. These procedures can help minimize errors by providing clear action guidelines. Coordinated team. Promote effective communication and collaboration within the crew. Crew members should be open to sharing thoughts and concerns so that errors can be avoided or corrected. Anticipating critical situations. Anticipate potential difficult situations and develop strategies to manage them effectively. Through mental preparation and simulations, the crew can respond better to crisis situations. Monitoring and surveillance. Implement constant monitoring practices for equipment and flight parameters. This can help detect and quickly correct technical errors. Rapid error correction. Safety climate. Promote a safety culture within the organization. The crew should feel comfortable reporting errors without fear of repercussions. Open communication. Encourage crew members to quickly share any observed errors and provide constructive feedback. Root cause analysis. When errors occur, conduct thorough analyses to identify underlying causes. This can help develop measures to prevent their recurrence. Learning from errors. Use errors as learning opportunities. Discuss how errors occurred and what can be done to avoid such situations in the future. Constructive feedback. Provide individual and collective feedback to improve performance and correct deviations. Simulations and exercises. Conduct emergency simulations and team exercises to prepare the crew for quick and correct decision-making in case of errors. Managing human factors requires a comprehensive and continuous approach. By promoting a safety culture, 
providing adequate training, effective communication, and in-depth analysis of errors, aviation organizations can help minimize human errors and prevent aviation accidents caused by them. Pilot Evaluation and Training Aeronautical psychology plays an essential role in the psychological evaluation of pilot candidates and the development of training programs to help them cope with the mental and emotional challenges of flying. Evaluating and training pilots is a crucial aspect of developing an efficient and safe aviation team. The approach must be comprehensive and tailored to the individual needs of pilots. Here are some strategies for effectively evaluating and training pilots. Evaluating pilots. Periodic evaluations. Conduct regular performance evaluations of pilots, including during and after flight simulations and real flights. These evaluations can reveal their strengths and areas needing improvement. Tests and simulations. Use theoretical tests and flight simulations to assess pilots' technical knowledge and practical skills in various scenarios. Detailed feedback. Provide detailed and constructive feedback after each evaluation. Discuss areas where they excelled and those that require improvement. Ground and flight evaluations. Incorporate both ground evaluations for theoretical knowledge and flight evaluations for practical skills and real-time decision-making. Self-evaluation. Encourage pilots to evaluate their performance. This can promote self-awareness and continuous development. Training pilots. Individual development plans. Work with pilots to develop personalized development plans. Identify their strengths and areas where they wish to improve. Continuous training. Ensure pilots have access to continuous training and technical updates in the aeronautical field. Mentoring. Provide mentoring opportunities so more experienced pilots can guide younger and less experienced ones. Advanced simulations. Use advanced simulations to offer pilots realistic and complex experiences that prepare them for difficult situations. Constant feedback. Offer constant feedback and support to help pilots continuously improve their skills. Developing decision-making skills. Include exercises and simulations that help pilots develop strong decision-making skills in stressful situations. Resilience. Development. Encourage pilots to develop emotional resilience to face challenges with confidence. Continuous monitoring. Track pilots' progress throughout training and intervene appropriately to address any additional needs. By adopting these strategies, you can evaluate and train pilots comprehensively and effectively, ensuring that each pilot maximizes their potential and contributes to the safe and successful operation of the aircraft. Understanding the concept of aeronautical psychology involves recognizing the importance of this field in ensuring flight safety and pilot performance. An integrated approach to psychological factors in aircraft training and operation is essential for creating a safe and efficient environment in aviation. Application Areas and Interconnections with Other Disciplines The areas of application of aeronautical psychology are varied and extend to many aspects of aviation and aircraft operation. Moreover, aeronautical psychology has significant interconnections with other disciplines. Here are some of these aspects. Pilot Selection and Evaluation Aeronautical psychology plays a crucial role in identifying and selecting potential pilots. Psychological tests and evaluations can help identify personality traits, cognitive abilities, and other characteristics necessary to be a successful pilot. Training and Preparation In pilot training, aeronautical psychology can offer techniques to improve learning, stress management, and decision-making. This helps develop the skills needed to handle complex situations in the cockpit. Crew Factors and Communication Effective collaboration and communication within an aircraft's crew are essential for flight safety. Aeronautical psychology studies the dynamics of interactions among crew members and provides strategies to improve communication and decision-making in the crew. Stress and Fatigue Management the aeronautical environment can bring psychological challenges such as stress and fatigue. Aeronautical psychology develops methods for managing these factors and preventing associated problems to ensure optimal pilot performance during long flights or stressful situations. Assistance Systems In the aviation industry, more technologies and assistance systems are being developed for pilots. 
Aeronautical psychology contributes to designing these systems to be compatible with human capabilities and limitations, ensuring efficient human technology interaction. Accident analysis and prevention. Psychological studies delve into the causes of aviation accidents and identify human factors that contributed to them. These studies help develop preventive measures and safety procedures to minimize future risks. Interconnections with other disciplines include aviation medicine. Aeronautical psychology works with aviation doctors to understand and address the impact of psychological factors on pilots' health and performance. Aircraft engineering and design. In collaboration with engineers, aeronautical psychologists contribute to designing cockpits and user interfaces to suit pilots' needs and capabilities. Crew resource management, CRM. This field focuses on developing communication and collaboration skills in the crew, and aeronautical psychology is central to providing training and guidance in this regard. Clinical psychology. In cases where pilots face post-traumatic stress or other psychological issues, aeronautical psychology specialists can collaborate with clinical psychologists to provide appropriate support. These interconnections and areas of application show that aeronautical psychology is essential for ensuring the safety and performance of modern aviation.